Todd, you've got uh, three-year-olds that you're basically looking for spots for. Uh, first of all, competitive edge. He's entered in the Jim Dandy. Where might he run this weekend? That's a good question. We entered in both the Jim Dandy and the uh, Haskell. Got to talk to the connections. You know, there's pros and cons to both spots. We know he likes Saratoga. He's two for two here. He won the, won the hopeful, and he trains really well. So talk to everybody after we kind of analyze both races and uh, make a decision. Okay, you also got Tommy Macho in Stanford. What spots might they land in? Stanford, we plan to run in the Curlin, and Tommy Macho, we plan to take to the West Virginia Derby. Keeping them separate. Will, will weather play a part in any of these decision processes, particularly when it comes to competitive edge? No, I think he'd handle an off-track fine. It looks like it's going to be fast at Monmouth over the weekend, but uh, the little bit of rain we've had here today I think is going to clear out, so it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a factor. You've got Rockfall. Uh, he's going to run in the Vanderbilt. Really impressive in the true north. You trained his sire, uh, Spitestown. See many similarities there? Just they're both pretty fast. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think they, they both have that ability to kind of sit in the pocket and quicken on the dirt, which is hard to do, and I think that's what makes them uh, as effective as they are. Rock Falls done well since he's got to Saratoga. He loves it here. He's trained well. Uh, you know, it's a tough race. Saludos Amigos, a very good horse and uh, a very competitive race, but we're looking forward to it. All right, great. Good luck. Thank you.